Hi everyone, welcome to the series called RBI 247. I am Tanvi Kaur, your mentor for Finance Current Affairs. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before I start with today's session, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you want the free PDF of this session, then please join our Telegram channel. The link is in the description below. All the free PDFs are provided through the tele Telegram channel only. So please join that very group in order to get access to all these free PDFs. Now, before I start with first question, there's one piece of information for you all. So we have introduced our new application that will help ace your preparation for all your exams. So you can download this very app from the Play Store and get access to all the important aspects import which, are, which can play a major role in helping you prepare better for these exams. Now starting with the first question that says, identify the benefits of UPI Lite. So let's first discuss what is this UPI Lite and then we'll come back to the question and answer it. Now, a lot of people are using UPI for making the payments. We are using cash ke ab UPI transactions kar rahe hai. and through various reports, we have seen that UPI is one of the most favored payments system. But suppose you are making a UPI payment, so amount will get deducted from your bank account and will get added to the bank account of the merchant to whom you are paying. So this kind of a transaction is actually occupying certain space on the server, on the core banking solution. So Joby software is running a whole mechanism, there will be a load padega when the transactions are happening. One place the bank account se amount verify ho ki deduct ho and then it's getting added elsewhere. But if I talk about UPI, a lot of transactions which were happening were actually small value transactions. 200 rupees tak ki bohat sari transactions ho thi. Say you are paying someone 50 rupees, 60 rupees, 100 rupees. So a lot of two, up to 200 rupees transactions were happening. And because these transactions are large in number, they occupy a lot of space in the core banking system, in the server. And because of which, at times, the server is busy and your large value transactions don't get possessed. Sometimes, UPI transaction is not possible, the server is busy, or there is no technical problem, or there is no technical glitch. Aa jata hai. So, in order to reduce the workload on the core banking solution, in order to reduce the workload on the server, uh, RBI introduced in January a framework for offline payment systems. Where RBI talked about how to do 200 transactions to do offline. Kar denge. And now this UPI Lite is something which is being launched on the UPI platform which will help reduce the workload on these servers and help speed up the transactions that are happening. So UPI Lite kya hai? UPI Lite ek tere se ek wallet hoga jo aapko UPI app mein available milega and the money will be added to that wallet. Obviously, when you are adding the money to the wallet, the transaction is going to occupy a certain space in the server because the money will get deducted from your bank account to be added to the wallet. But once the amount is there in your wallet, then you just can scan the QR code of the merchant and pay him. So, then you can offline payments. In one way, we have cash in our wallet. It is the same that in our wallet, we have amount in which we can easily do 200 rupees transaction easily and that will not be occupied by the server on the server. It will be offline ho payment. Ho so, UPI Lite is an on-device wallet feature for your UPI users and it will facilitate what? It will facilitate the small ticket transactions. So, talking a bit more about this very thing that why it has been introduced, UPI Lite, kyu laya gaya hai, kya iske benefits hai? So, just, I discussed, just, just as I discussed that in January, RBI came up with the framework to facilitate small value digital payments. Okay, waha bataya gaya tha ki kaise additional factor authentication nahi chahiye, 200 tak ki transactions easily ho sakengi offline mode mein. So, uh, in order to further that objective, this UPI Lite has been introduced. Most of the transactions which were happening were actually the small value transactions. So in order to reduce the workload on the server, the load on the core banking system and make the uh, uh, these kinds of transactions more faster, more simpler, this UPI light is going to help a lot. Secondly, the small value transactions will be faster and better experience milega, and large value transactions can also not face much hurdles and can be easily processed. So these are few benefits. 
other than that your bank statement will be uncluttered now if your bank statement is being prepared all small value transactions are shown 50 rupees paid over here 40 rupees paid over here 10 rupees paid over here so a lot of cluttering or chaos uh, comes up in your bank statement but now with upi light only it will be shown that okay 2000 transferred to your upi light wallet okay then whatever transactions you are doing 10 rupee 20 rupee 30 rupee transaction up 200 they will uh, not clutter your bank statement okay so ye kuch benefits hai. obviously it's going to be helpful for those who are not having much of the internet connectivity ek bar to aapne chalo kahin se paisa apne wallet mein transfer kara liya you had the internet connectivity but wherever you are going to make a payment say at that place you are not having the internet connectivity so now this is going to help those poor connectivity regions especially in the rural areas so ek boost milega digital payments ko isse aur zyada okay so if in order to try uh, if we want to make the upi transactions even faster either option is to make this small value transactions in the offline mode to reduce the load on the core banking system is ke alawa ke option hai ki sare banks apna infrastructure update kare apne technology update kare but that will require a huge amount of investment so in order to better deal with this as an alternative this mechanism has been introduced ye framework rbi ne introduce kiya aur isko hi implement karne ke liye upi light aaya hai now talking about it a bit more, so as of now it's going to be a near offline mode. Near offline mode se mera matlab hai ki uh, adding the amount to your wallet will be online thing. Aapko online hi apne wallet mein paisa dalna hoga but once the amount is there in your wallet, using offline mechanism you can make the payment. So payment karne ke liye aapko online jane ki zarurat nahi hai, internet connectivity ki zarurat nahi hai. You have the wallet, you can just scan the QR code of the merchant and the amount will be deducted from your wallet in an offline mode only so abhi ke liye first phase mein offline mode mein aapki transactions hongi as far as the debit is concerned but if you have to credit the money it will be online aapko replenish aapka wallet mein 2000 rupees khatam ho you have to add them back then that will be done online what is the upper limit of this transaction aap uh, upi light ke through qr code scan karke kitne amount tak ka transaction ek bari mein kar sakte ho kisi merchant ko up to 200 that's because the major objective is of UPI Lite is to cater to the uh, small value transactions. And eight time pe kitna balance ho sakta hai in this wallet? The maximum amount of balance which you can have over here in this wallet is rupees 2000. And it's a non-interest bearing amount. Okay. And you don't need some additional kind of authentication like UPI pin and all. Aap ek bar UPI app apna access karte ho, jo bhi aapka passcode hai, pin hai, ya biometric pattern dal ke, then you can further use this wallet easily without again authenticating the transaction. Okay. Kyunki internet connectivity nahi hai, offline mode ke thuye payments ho rahi hai, so it's very difficult to authenticate, to get the OTP, to get an, uh, UPI pin, verify it and then process the things. Okay. Talking a bit more about this, so initially, this is a pilot project ki launch ho hai. That means some multiple banks are going to try it out. It's not yet commercialized for a larger scale. Now, if try some banks try karenge, and if it proves to be successful, then it, uh, full scale commercialization will take place and all of the people can actually use this UPI light for the transactions. Okay. Now, if I talk about offline payment modes, what are the offline payment modes You remember USSD-based UPI service? While I was discussing about 123Pay, I told you that how hash nine, uh, star 99 hash uh, kind of thing was used to do offline transactions. Then 123Pay was introduced for the offline transactions. Okay, which allows you four different mechanisms of making offline payments. Ki aap, uh, Ek, um, app download kar sakte ho apne feature phones mein. then miss call method is there and all fourth methods now how is upi light light going to be different different the difference is that in those methods qr code scan mechanism was not available one two three way mein hum qr code scan ke payment nahi kar sakte the, but through upi light we can do so and that also without any internet so ye major difference hai so this was all about UPI Lite. Now coming back to our question and identifying the benefits of the same. So first is reduction of load on core banking system. Correct. Superior user experience for near real time small value payments. Correct. 
push to transactions um, held in digital mode in areas with poor internet connectivity correct so all are the benefits answer is option e the second question hai wo bhi upi lights se hi related hai so let's discuss that as well which of the following is incorrectly related to upi light which has been launched so incorrect statements identify karni hai upper limit rupee 100 hai per transaction no 200 Balance in the on-device wallet five thousand no two thousand is the limit. As per initial phase, replenishing the funds in UPI light will be done in online mode. This is correct. So first and second incorrect. Hai. That's why answer is option B. This was all about UPI light. Now let's come to next question and next topic of the day. The question says, who has signed an MOU? a memorandum of understanding with rbi's innovation hub recently to work together in developing the ecosystem necessary to support fintech startups in india now there are various firms which are rendering the financial services using the aid of technology which we call the fintechs okay so ab bahut se startups hai jo financial services render karna chahte hai using technology they want to support the banks they want to support the overall financial system so in order to encourage those budding entrepreneurs those budding startups it's important that they get get some kind of a support so rbi's innovation hub is there which is encouraging all these things okay so um it it provides the necessary expertise necessary training advices aap koi naye idea ke sath aaoge rbi innovation hub mein they will be evaluating them and if they see okay there are good prospects in this very product or in this very service they are going to provide you the monetary support the training support the mentorship so that that product or service can actually get implemented to uh, which is going to benefit the financial system of india so is cheez ko encourage karne ke liye rbi ke innovation hub ne kisi ek incubation cell ke sath collaborate kiya hai they have uh, uh, signed a memorandum of understanding and they both are going to work together to develop the fintech sector in india so which incubation cell am i talking about the answer is option a iit madras incubation cell so iit madras incubation cell iit ka ek startup hub hai which encourages you now people who are studying in iit they are obviously going to come up with some innovations some uh, things which to uh, some kind of a technology which they are using to develop new products or services who apni jo bhi unhone padhai ki hai whatever they are learning they are going to implement it they are going to uh, make make new products or services out of practicality so wo jo bhi naye innovations kar rahe hain unko encourage karne ke liye now rbi's hub has also collaborated and both of them will work together to encourage these fintech startups so kaise dono help karne wale hai they will be supporting nurturing these early stage startups inki jo bhi ye innovations ke sath aa rahe hai jo bhi ye solutions ke sath aa rahe hai unko encourage kiya jayega aur jo bhi necessary guidance chahiye training chahiye mentoring sessions chahiye rbi innovation hub has the experts and it will be uh, providing these experts at the iitms incubation cell to help those people who are actually emerging with these new ideas so inke paas apne experts hai market access hai लार्जर इको सिस्टम है सो ये सारा जो बेनिफिट्स हैं ये आई आई टी के इंक्यूबेशन सेल को प्रोवाइड करके दे आर गोइंग टू नर्चर दीज स्टार्टअप एंड इंकरेज दैम टू कम अप विद गुड सोल्यूशन मोर ओवर आर बी आई ऑफन कम्स अप विद वेरियस रिसर्च पेपर्स रिसर्च वर्क सो फॉर दैट ऑल्सो आर बी आई हब इज गोइंग टू वर्क इन कोलेबोरेशन विद दी आई आई टी एम इंक्यूबेशन सेल ओके सो ये था हमारा सेकेंड पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन नाउ कमिंग टू लास्ट टॉपिक एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे so it says which of the following is correct so it's again related to aifs recently we have been discussing a lot about aifs so dekh lete hain aage ki kya news hai related to this then we'll come back to the question so sebi ne recently a aif related rules amend kiye hain first of all what is aif i have been telling it about it a lot in previous sessions but i'll again tell you about the same AIF stands for alternative investment funds. जैसे कि हमारे conventional investment methods हैं stock में invest कर देना mutual fund में bond में ऐसे ही एक unconventional थोड़ा सा अलग risky complex option है AIFs. 
सो ए आई एफ्स में क्या होता है इन ए आई एफ्स द मनी इज पोल्ड फ्रॉम वेरियस सोफेस्टिकेटेड इन्वेस्टर्स हाई नेटवर्थ इन्वेस्टर्स एंड देन इट इज इन्वेस्टेड फॉर देयर बेनिफिट्स सो यूजली ये जो है मनी ये किसी स्टार्टअप में सोशल इम्पैक्ट फॉर्म में इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सेक्टर में वहाँ इन्वेस्ट होता है सो इफ आई गिव यू सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दी ऑल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड इट इंक्लूड्स योर वेंचर कैपिटल फंड प्राइवेट इक्विटी फर्म फंड हेज फंड एंजल फंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फंड यूजली स्टार्टअप सोशल इम्पैक्ट फर्म उस सेक्टर में ये पैसा इन्वेस्ट होता है सो सेबी हैज अमेंडेड रूल्स रिलेटेड टू दिस नाउ अंडर ए आई एफ्स वी हैव थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ ए आई एफ्स कैटेगरी वन टू एंड थ्री और कैटेगरी थ्री ए आई एफ रिलेटेड थोड़े चेंजेस आर सेबी ने अभी रिकमेंड किए हैं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टॉकिंग अ बिट अबाउट दीज थ्री कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट कैटेगरी में वो सारे फंड आ जाते हैं विच फर्स्ट कैटेगरी इंक्लूड्स ऑल दो फंड विच आर यूजली इन्वेस्टेड इन दी दिस स्टार्टअप्स और इन सम सोशल वेंचर्स और इन सम इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सेक्टर ओके इफ आई गिव यू सम एग्जाम्पल सो कैटेगरी वन ए आई एफ्स में आपके आते हैं वेंचर कैपिटल फंड एस एम ई फंड सोशल वेंचर फंड और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फंड ये चार मेजर कैटेगरीज हैं कैटेगरी टू इंक्लूड्स ऑल दो फंड विच आर नीदर पार्ट ऑफ कैटेगरी वन नॉर ऑफ कैटेगरी थ्री सो जो फर्स्ट और थर्ड में नहीं आएंगे वो सेकेंड में आ जाते हैं एंड दीज आर यूजली द फंड विच आर नॉट अंडरटेकिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ बोरोइंग अदर देन टू मीट देयर डे टू डे रिक्वायरमेंट्स ओके सो इसमें क्या आ जाते हैं इसमें आपके प्राइवेट इक्विटी फंड आ जाते हैं रियल इस्टेट फंड आते हैं सम फंड विच आर फॉर द डिस्ट्रेस्ड असेट सो ये सारी कैटेगरीज कैटेगरी टू में आ जाती है category 3 is more diverse okay it has more complex trading strategies so jo bhi aapki investment derivatives wagera mein honi hai that's included over here so here what type of funds come uh, to cite few examples we have hedge funds we have pipe funds pipe is private investment in public equity funds so ye kuch categories hain of various types of fund under category 3 so ye major examples hai teenon categories ke अब अगर मैं बात करूं न्यू रूल्स की सो द न्यू रूल से इज दैट कैटेगरी थ्री ए आई एफ सो जो कैटेगरी थ्री के फंड्स हैं दे कैन नॉट इन्वेस्ट मोर देन टेन परसेंट इन ऑफ इन्वेस्टेबल फंड्स इन इन्वेस्टिंग कंपनी सो वेयर एवर दिस ए आई एफ मनी इज गोइंग टू गेट इन्वेस्टेड दैट इज द इन्वेस्टिंग कंपनी वो कोई भी कंपनी हो सकती है स्पेशल पर्पज व्हीकल हो सकता है एल हो सकती है बॉडी कॉर्पोरेट हो सकती है जहाँ ए आई एफ इन्वेस्ट करता है सो जितना भी अमाउंट एक्यूमुलेट हुआ है टू इन्वेस्ट दैट इज इन्वेस्टेबल फंड ओके द मनी एक्यूमुलेटेड फ्रॉम वेरियस इन्वेस्टर्स टू बी इन्वेस्टेड सो नॉट मोर देन टेन परसेंट ऑफ दैट मनी कैन बी इन्वेस्टेड इन अ पर्टिकुलर इन्वेस्टिंग कंपनी सो ये एक लिमिट है इफ यू रिमेंबर लास्टली वेन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस ए आई एफ वेन द रूल्स वर एमेंडेड एट दैट टाइम दिन इम्पोज अ लिमिट फॉर कैटेगरी वन एंड टू कि ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द कॉपर्स से ज्यादा जो है वो इन्वेस्टेड कंपनी में इन्वेस्ट नहीं हो सकता फॉर ए आई एफ कैटेगरी थ्री इट वॉज टेन परसेंट सो एज ऑफ नाउ इट्स टेन परसेंट बट इन केस अ फंड इज अ लार्ज फंड टेन ट्वेंटी परसेंट कैन बी इन्वेस्टेड ओके अब अगर मैं बात करूँ दिस टेन परसेंट और ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो इन्वेस्टेबल्स फंड का टेन या ट्वेंटी परसेंट या फिर नेट असेट वैल्यू का टेन या ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज गोइंग टू बी द क्राइटेरिया टू इवेलुएट ऑल दिस ओके Now coming back to our question and identifying the correct statement. So, pehli hai AIF stands for Alternate Investment Fund. Correct. Category one AIFs invest in startups or early stage ventures, social ventures, SME infrastructure. Correct. Third is category three AIFs in deals and hedge funds, pipe funds. Correct. So, ye sari hi correct hai. Answer is option E. That's it for today's session. I hope it was useful. With this, I would like to end up this session. Thank you so much.